thing about helping an alcoholic and addict too much or in ways that you shouldn't be helping is that one, they will let you <laughs> and two, they will end up resenting you for it. There was something that came very clear to me when I was doing this frantic saving mission that I was on is that it really was disrespectful to the person I was trying to help. They even told me, when you do that, it makes me think that you don't think I know what the hell I'm doing, right? You, you, make, you, you make it seem like I'm an idiot, right? Because I'm a takeover gal. And there is nothing more obnoxious than a takeover person. I don't care if you have are at work and you have someone new and they come in. They want to change the birthday board and the, the way you do this and the type of coffee you drink. It's fucking annoying. Church, you get some new person in there and all of a sudden they want to change the they want to ch change the pews around or the, the order of the way you do the service. There's one of us in every crowd. <laughs> there really is. And, you know, that controlling is a safety measure. I, I, I really get nervous and uneasy when things aren't the way they're supposed to go. That's why one of the reasons I like 12-step meetings, Al-Anon or AA, is you know exactly what to expect. And if somebody talks out of order or something, it freaks me out. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm that kind of person. I'm a controlling person because it makes me feel safer. And that is not your problem. That is my problem. But I'm telling you, it's obnoxious. And people get tired. I wear people out. This is an important thing to know. That why you think you're helping and you're doing all this to help and make it easier for the other person, they are going to resent you for it right? They are going to be like, what the hell? Just a word to the wise. This isn't, uh, this isn't, it's not going to be easy, but you need to realize if you really love and respect someone, leave them alone.